Welcome to Content Snare. Thank you so much for signing up. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to create a request for the first time. I'm going to use a website example here uh, because we have a bunch of built-in section templates that you can use to get started really quickly. This will kind of apply to any kind of request. Uh, it's just, I happen to have chosen showing you a website. So this is the screen you'll see when you first come in. Um, and we're gonna go and create a new request. I'm gonna create a new client. So, so this is fairly self-explanatory. We're gonna give it a con uh, company name, a contact name, contact email, and a phone number, which is, isn't necessary. This is what you'll see immediately. So uh, it's created a, a default tab here and a section. So let's say this was a homepage or a website. We might have homepage as the first tab. Um, now, the easiest way to get started from uh, our built-in sections, we'll delete this and I'll show you what happens when you click the new section button. So we can say use template and you'll find we've got all these built-in templates with content snare. So you might want to start with a navigation section. Uh, so we've got a left aligned logo with a menu and button on the right. So that has created this section with a pre-made template. So that it's pulled in the title, but we might just change that to navigation. Uh, you'll notice here it's pulled in an example wireframe of what this will look like. So one of the most important things in getting your clients to provide good content is to actually show them visuals so they understand. So we've also got some help text here all about what a navigation is. We've asked for their logo. We've asked for other logo files. If you don't want that, you can just hit delete. Uh, we've asked for uh, what the button should be, the navigation button and so on. Um, so I'm gonna go new section. Again, I'm gonna go use template. And this time I'm gonna go with a hero opt-in header. And here's our wireframe that we've uh, previously built in. So it's a heading, subheading, and an opt-in. So you'll see here, uh, we've got a headline, a bit of, bit of help text on how to write the headline, a subheadline, an image, and so on. And so we can continue this down the page uh, using templates. You know, if you want to put in a content area with that looks something like this. Um, we've got a template for that. So this is just to get you started. Over time, uh, you'll end up building your own section templates, uh, potentially with your own wireframes and, uh, and sort of example designs for your clients so that you can build this very specific to you. But the idea is once you've got all these set up, then you are ready to go uh, with any client very quickly because you can create a request based on existing templates and send it off. Just one more thing quickly, we also have tabs here. So if you were gonna have a contact page, you might have that set up as a template as well. So I can go new tab from template, um, let's say an about page. And that'll pull in all the fields uh, that we've previously created for an about page. And it sucked in all those down here. So you could create templates for all the standard sort of pages you have on most websites or whatever you, uh, you're using Content Snare for. When we're ready to send that, all we're gonna do is hit the publish button up here. And if you want to share it without a login, you'll see the email, uh, the link is here. So we just copy that to clipboard and hit publish. So that an email is automatically gone out to Bob based on the uh, communications template, which we can go into in another video. But um, now you can put that link into a incognito window just to show you what it would look like if your client was accessing it and here we go so your client can come in directly via this link and start uploading files and uh, typing in information that's all there is to it